All right, guys, today we're just doing a video on the HDR50. We're going to be shooting another cinder block with it. Yesterday we done the 68 caliber. Uh, we were using steel 22 gram Z rims that I backfill with lead. Today we're going to be using just lead round balls. They're 12 grams, and we're going to be using lead hollow points, which are also 12 grams. They're slugs. Um, so yeah, basically we're just, we're right around like a, a full length M17 size. I mean, with the muzzle tip, it's probably just a little bit longer. But um, yeah, I mean, if you take the stock off, it'll become around like the size of a, maybe a little bit longer than a, slightly longer than an HDB. But either way, I got the stock on there because it's that power plant I drilled out. It's got an extra air chamber I drilled into it, a big hollow tube, but anyways, uh, I'm going to set this camera up. The whole point of it is, is to damage that block, and yeah, we're going to try it with uh, the 50 cal today. So, there's the block there. Yeah, we shattered the block. The whole upper part. We only took each shot. The first shot, we blew the whole corner off. Um, yeah, guys, uh, you've already seen me shoot these slugs before. I weighed them in the groups and probably the other videos as well. But um, yeah, I got 1100 psi tank. Um, eight home defense 24 tuning run barrels. I got it set up for a, a little bit longer for a higher drill setup. I mean, all in all, it's still, like, it's not a bad length. I mean, it, it's getting to the point where it is too long for indoors, but it's very light. It's just like wielding a stick around with a tank attached to it. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, um, I'll reset the chronograph as well, and then uh, we'll take a look at the numbers <clears throat> after. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not, just test, I'm not too concerned with FPS and numbers, um, only to the extent that I just want to see what it takes to break this, but I'm pretty sure we can break these in less power than we're using. It might take a few more shots, but the whole point is we just want to crush this brick, so it's not much of a data video, although you can get data from every video, but not the point. <clears throat> So, we got the crony on. <clears throat> All right, we're gassed up. I mean, for a lead hollow point, oh, that's a round ball, actually. Um, okay, let's see what we got. It's going to be gas. So, so four seventy two, twelve grand. All right, guys. So that's one hundred and twenty three joules, the highest shot, the most powerful one there. Um, yeah, it was around 122 joules. 
Okay, so I can see. Oh, we had a couple shots right on that support beam again. We got a couple just above it. Um, yeah, those are the lead balls, and oh my god. Oh, 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 where do you see these after? These things are flattened right out. See, I think it's expanding the, it's hitting and then the energy is expanding. The slug is flattening. Where the steel ones is just solid impact hitting. You know what? I got the, some 12 gram lead slugs, but if that don't work, we're going to finish it off with some uh, steel slugs. <clears throat> All right, so that was round ball. Now we're going to lead hollow point slugs. And, yeah, we'll see what happens now. All right. Okay, gassing up. Whoa, I do not like those. Those are still ricocheting. I'm going to tilt that a bit more. Because they're coming back and they're smacking that wall there. Ugh. All right. Oh, we got a crack. Whew. All right. All righty. <clears throat> All right, so we are degassed and everything. Let's take this camera off here. See what happened well clearly we, oh yeah the steel bearings have way more devastating impact all right so that's from the steel bearings like they made quick work of that but if you can see all that's ready to look at that just shattered all the way across oh i should finish it off i should um yeah we obviously see severed the whole top off here so that's gone. Um, oh, that's coming out. Mm. Yeah, this block is officially destroyed. <laughs> I should finish that off. You know what? I'm going to. <clears throat> Let me just get this back on. Okay, so. 
Give me a couple seconds here. I'll put a few more bearings in. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna finish it off with my other HDR I got here. So yeah. So. Anyways, that's it, guys. <clears throat> I've got no more air left. I'll have to... Either way, we accomplished the mission. So there we go. There's a top piece gone. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much a dead block. It's cracked all the way through. But yeah, it's at least, you know, if it's doing this to a, a cinder block, just imagine what it would do to flesh and bone. <clears throat> but yeah, not something, unless you can, this is not something you use for home defense. Unless you're absolutely allowed to be lethal, then yeah. Like, look at that, that's just destroyed. Anyways, 50 caliber. A little bit higher jewels, it seemed. Um, let's go crunch those numbers over here. I'm probably going to have to look at the video for the jewel. Actually, I got a mess in here. I got my bike in there and shit, so... Oh, my computer and stuff is not very organized. But anyways, guys, let me just show you the slugs. <clears throat> Alrighty, so here's one of those 50 cal slugs. Like, let's go into the light. <clears throat> like, that is just. Oh, that's got concrete embedded into it. But yeah, that's one of the slugs there. This would be another slug right here. So there's the end, and then there's the tip. So it hit and then kind of smudged and flattened out. It's amazing how tough these are compared to the round ball. They're the exact same chunk of lead. They're both 12 grams. And then here are... I didn't think these would flatten out this... Oh, wait, there's another flathead. Right there, there's a flat pellet. So that one hits perfectly straight. I don't know. I don't know how they're deflecting, but... Holy shit, look at those. Like, there's your steel bearings. And then there's the plugs after. Holy shit, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of energy. I shot these at things before and wood and stuff, and they barely even lost their shape. They just put a little dent in them. And now when you hit something solid like that, it's just, look at all that energy. See, the steel balls, I think they hit harder because they don't crush and flatten out. Absorbing some of the energy But anyways guys, I'll do the jewel count after you guys can do that. Oh, actually, no, you didn't see the chronograph But I don't know I don't even think I hit the shot string delete. I'm not even sure Let me see No, I didn't because there's 25. I don't think I shot 25 shots today Anyways 547 the steel bearings, 546, 542, 547, all pretty consistent. 551, so yeah, about 551 would probably be the highest, yep. So 551, we were at 123 joules with the, the lead slugs, or the round balls, whatever they were, average. I don't know, I didn't, I can't remember what the slugs were, but now for the steel bearings, what did I say that number was? Five, oh, I'm bad with memory. 
547 or a little bit higher. 551. Looks like we got higher numbers with the round balls over the slugs. <clears throat> All right, so 551. Oops. 8.4. So... Yeah, the steel balls was one. It liked the lead better, the heavy lead balls. So yeah, one twenty something for the lead balls, and then we got one seventeen joules from the round balls from the steel balls. So yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna go crunch the numbers better and look at all of them and have a better look at everything, and I'll write it in the comments and. Till then, you guys all stay safe. Oh, um, what was I going to say there? Um, oh God, I don't remember half the time. Anyways, you guys all stay safe, take care, and have fun, guys.